With your look around the Air Force, I'm Senior Airman Khadija Slaughter. B-52 aircraft and airmen from Minot Air Force Base, North Dakota, are operating from RAF Fairford in the United Kingdom as part of NATO's Bomber Task Force mission. General James Hecker, commander of U.S. Air Force's Europe and Allied Air Command, says the task force missions improve combined readiness and interoperability while demonstrating global power projection alongside allies. He adds that the ultimate strength in the European area of operations is joint force lethality, the ability to train with allies and partners as one combat team. U.S. Air Force's Europe says Bomber Task Force missions are routinely conducted across Europe, underscoring NATO's commitment to deterring adversary aggression towards the alliance. 75 airmen from Pacific Air Force's units were at Subang Air Base, Malaysia as part of Pacific Angel 22, an effort to promote interoperability for emergency response and disasters. An expeditionary medical support and health response team provided health outreach, search and rescue exercises, and mobile medical clinic operations while working with the Royal Malaysian Air Force and civilian agencies. Pacific Air Forces says it's part of the effort to strengthen relationships with regional allies and partners to preserve peace and stability throughout the Indo-Pacific. The Air Force Reserve Command's 920th Rescue Wing racked up some mileage as they worked to validate support of a personnel recovery task force in the Indo-Pacific region. They set up a temporary contingency location at Patrick Space Force Base, Florida. Then, airmen from every group in the wing were transported more than 4,700 miles to a remote Pacific island. From there, they split into teams covering islands over more than 200 square miles. The exercise included jungle survival, base defense and combat casualty care, as well as specific training for combat rescue operations. That's your look around the Air Force.